And then now the mutume na ninabi pia. He says I don't operate at your levels. I am coming. And he tells his angels to send thunder. <laughs> and then he captured the video as his angels are sending the thunder to you in the church. <laughs> And it is not a joke. <laughs> one angel throws thunder, another one throws another thunder very seriously. And another one is bringing down the rain. <laughs> you just slumber over there. <laughs> And that was not an evangelist like you who makes noise around. Apostle prophet. That is apostle and also Anna prophet. Moja. He don't have one name. Don't worry. <laughs>
wachungaji wengine uinua manabii wao wanasema ni mapepo si huyo Mungu wako aponye hata kidogo tu unaombea kitu kama hichi kimeandikwa caps na iombea pale kwa ile ofisi na weka nguvu za Mungu hapo tu kwa maombi yani hii watu kupona hivyo ndivyo devil utapona hata kama mtaki utapona maeneo ya kitale nimesikia ule mrogi ameenda atafanya mkutano kitale vile tulisiaga hawa na manyuru hapa Eldred nataka tutahamini Mungu kwamba litasiagwa pia huko kama Ezekiel ajui aulize manyuru pita auliza manyuru anakonga manyuru pita na huyu odero anakonga odero nani odero Ezekiel aulize huko Kitale is just next to us here na wa Kenya wajinga ni wengi sana kiroho Nasikia naenda kuuza nguo nyeupe, kitambaa nyeupe, e, mafuta nyeupe na maji nyeupe. Na pia chungine anaweza uzia nyoka nyeupe. Mind your own business. Niona mhubiri mmoja ako hapo, sijui ni kitale. Sijui kama ni kichwa yake baya. Sijui kama ni wasimu gani. Sijui Ezekiel, sijui Ezekiel. Si ugodi amalize wewe upeleke yako uingie ligini. Sasa why pilipili na asali nyuki na inzi why are you fighting why unapoteza muda wako naona unavuja vuja viti unavuja vuja viti ate unasikata shetani sasa shetani ni wewe amani nani sasa sometimes you will be upcame stop your nonsense mind your own business mimi yangu ni hiyo tu unipende usinipende i will preach myself ile nimepewa sababu kuna punda kuna kuna simba kuna ngamia kuna twiga kuna kondoo kuna mbuzi kuna kuku kuna sungura why do you want to be unataka ni watu wote wakue kama wewe bibi ni kipawa chake amekuja nazo sasa goja kama Ezekiel ni mbaya ama mipa sanganga nikimaliza hiyo crusade hapo peleka yako hapo sasa unaharibu watu unasema sijui ni shetani sijui nani ni shetani sasa we Mungu hata hujafika Nairobi uko kitale hata hujafika Mombasa ujione uko kitale tu Mungu anataka kitale First Ezekiel is saying very well that no one has ever fought me and ended well Hakuna mtu amewahi kupambana na mimi akamaliza vizuri huyo mtu kaliza vibaya Hii ninasema mara ya kwanza leo ye. And truth be told no one attacks a servant of God no matter no, no matter no matter how maybe false we may th- you may think he is or she is you cannot attack any man or woman of God and go scot free I'm I've, I've told you that I'm not supporting anybody but I'm just bringing this scenario that uh, let us try to avoid as much as we can to attack these men of God because they are the same people that uh, they are the same people that God can use to help us. They the same people who can stand in the gap when any, whenever anything happens. Right now, uh, there is a there is a video that I played about a prophecy that was given by Pastor Ezekiel, was also given by Abbot Enjo and was given by another pa- another prophet from Nigeria about what is happen- what is supposed to happen in Kenya. And all these prophets at some point all these people, uh, people uh, all these pastors, some people were saying that they are not true prophets, they are not true men of God. Like Abbot Angel was uh, he was he, he was bring blame with the connection of something like gold fishy gold gold something like that. And then Pastor Ezekiel was was, was also is normally complain that uh, we Kenyans don't accept even our own. And he also went ahead and said that uh, we even decided to send uh, uh, Dr. Ward a uh, uh, parking. So what I'm trying to say is this that no matter how we may feel or no matter how you may think that you are a pastor you're doing better than another person or no matter how you may think that you are more anointed than another pastor let us try as much as we can not to attack them because at the end of the day what you're doing is the same at the end of the day if you are told to do what this other pastor is doing you might not be in a position to do it in as much as you are attacking him if you are now told that now okay uh, let us now talk i want us to to take this I want to ask, I want to ask this question with a genuine heart genuinely and please I will I know I'll get a genuine answer from from you 
from people like uh, Everson Siringa, from people like Elme254, from people like uh, Millicent, uh, Millicent. I know I'm going to get uh, from from Brilliant, uh, from Germany, Brilliant from Germany, I know I'm going to get a genuine answer from you. Like, let's say, for example, uh, for the people that normally attack uh, people that normally ta attack pastors, let's say, for example, the, the, some uh, in a scenario, a scenario that happened. Let, okay, this thing happened. Okay, we know that uh, it happened, and uh, almost everybody in the world knew it because I know this video is not only watched by the, with the people within the country, and this video is watch, is watch, this video is watched by even the people that are, does not know who Pastor Ezekiel is. So I want to take it to this level whereby this pastor that that is known or this pastor that has been known or was known. Let us take somebody like T.D. Jakes, because I know that everybody knows T.D. Jakes and something uh, and uh, what he has passed through in the past in past weeks or months. So I want us to ask ourselves, I want to ask this question, with a, I've said that with a genuine heart, I want to ask this question with a genuine heart. So suppose those who are attacking T.D. Jakes, if they are told that, okay, right now we want T.D. Jakes to relocate, and you want someone who can come and maintain his charge. We want someone who can come and maintain his church and do the miracle, preach the gospel, and continue with the doctrines the way he used to do it and maintain the, 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 the fellowship and do everything exactly the way T.D. Jakes used to do. Is there anybody who can do that? Now, bring it back to Kenya. Suppose Mark... Mark is told that I want you to we want you to relocate from your your account your your church in Kitale or maybe in wherever in Eldoret yes because I know he's in Eldoret. I want we want you to relocate from your church in Eldoret and go to Pastor Ezekiel's church in Mombasa, and do exactly things that he normally do, preach the way he normally preaches and teach the way he normally teaches. Do you think it will be easy for Mark to leave his church to go to another to Pastor Ezekiel's church? It will not be easy. So that is what I, wonder, I, I, I was trying to bring out. That before attacking another person, you should ask yourself that this person that I'm attacking, if I'm, sub, if, if I'm given now his shoes to wear, will I, will I be able to fit, to, to, to fit to, will my legs be able to fit into his shoes? Because we hear people attacking. I'm, I've said, remember, I've said that I'm not defending anybody. I'm just doing some, some critical analysis on how pastors attack each other on the, and why they should stop attacking each other. Because the more you attack each other, the more the body of Christ fails. The Bible says very well, if I quote the Bible, the Bible says very well that uh, there, there are a lot of works to be done. Let me just paraphrase it so that everybody can understand. There are, there are a lot of works to be done. There are a lot of souls to be fetched, but the workers are few. There are a lot of bodies to be fed. There are a lot of souls to be warned. But now the problem is the workers are few. If the workers, if the, if Christ Himself is declaring that the workers are few, but now the problem is these workers that are few are continuing to insult, to incite others by saying that these other pastors are not true prophets. These other pastors are not true pastors. Who will go and fetch other souls? I normally bring it. There, there's a time that I was trying to talk to one of my, one or two people, some some employees somewhere, and one of them came to me and asked me that was telling me that Boni have, 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 have a very pro, a very big problem, and I was like, okay, which problem do you have? Uh, and I told, and uh, she was like, okay, I have a problem with my with the, my workman workmate. Uh, okay, he's like our supervisor, yes, but I have a very big problem with with her. And I was like, okay, what is the problem? Let me just bring this so that at least we can understand what I'm trying to talk about. And she was like, okay, anytime I, I do something, uh, she in, she incites our our manager, our director that I'm not doing the right thing, and uh, she's even planning. They're even planning on how I can be sacked. Immediately, the the lady went. I I called the I called this the the person the inciter, and I was like, okay. You're trying. I mean, I went direct to the point, and I I would told. I asked him that you're trying as much as you can, so that your fellow colleague could be dismissed from the work that is do that she's doing. Are you sure? Or if oh, okay, suppose this lady quits this job, or suppose this lady is sacked. 
will you be able to pay, to be paid her rent uh, her, her salary the way she, the, that's my that salary that she used to be paid will you be able to be paid the lady said no will you be able to do everything that she used to do and the way she used to do them the lady said no so why do you think you are in a position or why is it that now you are pressurizing on her to be sacked That was just I was just giving an example. Now let us come back to our our topic. My my point was I was just, I was just trying to bring that story so that at least we can understand each other. Now let us come back to this scenario whereby pastors attack each other. You know, it pains when you see another pastor attacking uh, when you see pastors attacking each other. Yet we have a very a very bad generation. We are we have a very a very a very insecure let me call it i don't know how i can put it but uh, we have a generation a very okay a very rotten generation this generation called gen, gen, gen z that needs very mature pastors that needs very mature men of god to counsel them to bring them back to christ so that at least they can change so what is going on what will happen if now pastors attack each other the way they, they normally attack each other will we have a generation which will be proud by saying that i we were lost but now this this pastor brought us back to christ we listened to his sermons and we came back to christ or or will we have a, a generation which will be will be blaming pastors by saying that we we ought we thought okay we wanted to change but the way we were the way we were listened the way we were listening to other pastors pastors attacking each other and the way we were listening saying that uh, the way we were listening to pastors saying that uh, this pastor is a devil worshiper this pastor is not a true pro prophet this pastor is not a true man of god it made us fear coming back to christ that is just my thought on pastors attacking each other i also want to hear you i do i also want to listen to the way to what you're saying at the comment section so that i can at least we can we can know where we're heading to because as it stands right now we really fear because if 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 your pastor gives a prophecy you know i was the reason why i've i've, tried, I've decided to play this video is to is because i've tried to go through the the comments on the video of uh, pastor Ezekiel prophesying on one of the prominent uh, uh, politician being stoned, stoned to death or dying and uh, that is why i came up with this that at least let us talk about this because you find that a lot of people are saying that pastor Ezekiel is, is not a true of god, prophet of god some are saying that he is and the prophet that is given he has given has been confirmed by even another prophet from another country so it means that we can we can listen to prophecy from other countries but we cannot listen to prophecy from within our countries I don't know what you think that is just my thought I also like to give each other the comment section so that you can also tell me what you think concerning this video and concerning what is going on within our pastors or within the ministry within the within within the within the the ministry yeah, within the body of Christ let me call it within the body of Christ whereby we have got pastors attacking each other and I've told as I've told you that as I've told you that comment is very much important please don't forget to give me a comment in the comment section and also a reminder if it is the first time that we're meeting please don't don't forget to subscribe and also like and share this video and you can also tell me your location where you're watching us from i'm very happy because a lot of people are telling, are telling me are telling us where they are watching us from i'm very happy the, with the support that you're giving us thank you very much may god bless you continue supporting us continue giving us your comment continue sharing the videos continue liking as you like we grow and as we grow we also uh, help other people who do not know who do not understand what is going on and i told you that my our main aim as a vana media is to tell you what is happening where is happening where is where where it is happening who is doing them why is he doing them and how and what we think concerning what has been done and until we meet again i've been your host bonface we know bye bye